We all know the Maldives as high-end luxury resorts, just like here at Cinnamon Don Veli. But what does 1,000 pounds a night get you these days in the Maldives? And what does 100 pounds a night get you? It isn't all just high-end luxury resorts like this. There are also a lot of local islands and guest houses. So we're gonna show you the two, starting off with 1,000 pounds a night. You get a massive door and a beautiful entrance and a living room. This living room is so nicely furnished and it has five folding doors out onto something real special and this, which is a table that looks underneath the sea. I cannot believe it. So you can sit and watch fishes at night and in the day. Amazing. We have a Bluetooth speaker. We have not one fan. We have two fans, not one telly. You have two tellies. And then you walk through and you have the most amazing bedroom ever. Huge. I would probably say it's a super king bed. It's just what you need. You have your desk for people like us that have to get their work done. And then you follow me through because it still goes on. Oh, the on. bathroom. Amazing bathroom, but obviously you have all of your necessities in the cupboard. And then the bathroom. We have huge bifold indoors again that lead out so that you can sit and have a bath and look out onto the sea. You have a separate room for your toilet and for your shower and who doesn't need double sinks? His and hers. His and hers is absolutely perfect. But the best of all, a humongous balcony. I don't even know if you could call it a balcony. This is literally the overwater suite. We are in the middle of the ocean right now. You have a table and chairs. You have two sun loungers. You have beautiful lanterns that come on automatically at night. You have steps down into the sea. And then you have a floating, I don't even know what you would call it, a floating sort of sunbed, sunbed that overlooks the amazing water. As well as this incredible overwater suite. For around that thousand pounds a night, you will receive transfers to and from Marley Airport, which you won't get at your guest house included in the price, but it's not just the overwater suite. You need to talk about the rest of the resort. The rest of the resort is amazing. So regardless of what package you have, you will have access to not one, but two swimming pools. We have- Three bars, three yeah, or four bars. Three or four bars. You've got- An incredible beach. An incredible beach, a private beach. It is so remote, mm -hmm. isn't it? It's Unbelievable. Breakfast, lunch. You've got breakfast, yeah. Breakfast, lunch, dinner included. Because again, in this price, at this resort, um, you will get all inclusive for around £1,000 per night. That means you have mini bars, so you can drink as many beers as you want. You get cocktails at all the bars and restaurants, you get beers at all the bars They're and good restaurants. They get cocktails as well. Mm -hmm. You get beers at the beach, but I'm talking a lot about beers here. And the food is such good quality food as well. So I think that when you're thinking of how long you're here for, including the price, I think food is a huge factor. You you, you want food in, the, in your price. We're talking £1,000 a night in the Maldives, sounds a lot but that it can go upwards to thirty thousand pounds a night depending on the resort but we thought we'd talk specifically about an overwater suite stroke villa because when you look at the maldives that is what you picture and you can get it for a thousand pounds a night with everything included but the one thing that we love the most is literally sitting here and listening to the sea i think look that's priceless at this view i'm actually going to go and jump in the sea now get changed <laughs> have a beer and we will show you the contrast of a hundred pounds a night in the Maldives. So you have seen what a thousand pounds, thousand dollars gets you a night here in the Maldives. Pretty much the same thing now with the exchange rates, but what does a hundred pounds a night get you? It gets you this, a local Maldivian island here on the local island of Fuladu. We are staying at guest house Thundee and for around a hundred dollars, hundred pounds a night, I think it is an incredible price and an incredible experience. Completely different to that of the private one thousand pounds a night experience. You will get your own private balcony where you can sit and look out at the sea. But more importantly, you will get your own room. A huge, huge double bed, very, very spacious, got everything you need. You have a telly, you'll have your fridge, free tea and coffee, and your wardrobe space, 
and that the plugs. I love the fact that plugs are UK as well. You should get that in most guest houses. But most of all, in this case, you will get a, a touch bathroom. of luxury, right? This is a touch of luxury. This is what actually most resorts have. So you are getting this in your guest house, an outdoor bathroom, sink, toilet, two lots of showers, and your toiletries. So for a hundred pounds, hundred dollars a night, you can get a private resort, but, and the big but is, on that private resort for a hundred pounds a night, hundred dollars a night, you are only gonna get breakfast included and some you won't even get breakfast. And if you go on booking.com and check, add in lunch and add in dinner can sometimes be 40 to $50 for both of you just for lunch. And if you're doing that for a few days, that really does add up. Whereas if you stay in a guest house, you'll literally get some of the freshest local homemade food here on this island. I'm absolutely obsessed with this Maldivian Kotu cooked by their neighbor. You are likely to have breakfast, lunch, and dinner included and drinks with your meals. And drinks, yeah. And drinks. And Big not only bonus. is the food really, really good, but it's super fresh, normally made by somebody either living next door mm -hmm. or one of the local workers here in the guest house. And it is just too good. It is so fresh, no <laughs> ingredients, fresh from the island. The only downside, them drinks, it doesn't include alcohol on public local islands alcohol is not allowed it's a strict muslim country but we'll get to rules more in another video i just think thousand pounds a night hundred pounds a night it is very hard there's there's two ends of it there, there's, there's different ends you can get a lot cheaper than 100 dollars a night and it varies at what time of the year you come but for a hundred dollars a night getting a public island like this a guest house with a bathroom that matches a private resort <laughs> a local island with incredible food and also you get the same or similar experiences in terms mm -hmm. of your excursions and your beaches as you would should you uh, should you be on a resort you still get to see the amazing islands you still get to see the amazing marine life and you still get to sit on an amazing beach you just have a slightly different experience at a cheaper cost cheaper cost and you get that beach to yourself <laughs> you get that beach to yourself very and true. you get incredible hosts. Welcome to Trinity Guestos, island of Fulidu. I'm not saying that the private islands, the private islands have been incredible and the workers are just as incredible but on the public islands in your guest house it's like a one-to-one, -one. they become your friend, it's like your family and it is a really incredible experience but don't get me wrong like I say, $100 a night you can get a private island but you're gonna be paying an extra four, five, six hundred dollars for the few days including the excursions because they upprice the excursions and the transfers massively. So also with the guest houses, you will get your beachfront, which mm -hmm. is something that you get with the resorts. Of course. You do feel like you're on your own island because there's literally hardly anyone else next to you. There's not uh -huh. any other buildings because you're on a small local island. The other thing that you get, which is something you will not get on resorts, you won't get it, is the local restaurants, cafes, or things that the locals have to sell for you. And that is something that you you can't miss. Exactly, you need to do both. You need to experience both. I'm not saying do a thousand pound a night private resort. I'm saying do a private resort, experience a private resort. Maybe do the hundred pound private resort and do a 30 pound guest house. But there's two ends of the spectrum. I'm not gonna tell you which one I prefer. Make <laughs> your mind up for yourselves and we will see you in the next one.